Jesus be with you. This Sunday is Palm Sunday, officially titled Palm Sunday of the Passion of the Lord. It commemorates Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem on a colt, amidst palm branches, which is closely followed by his passion and death. In this video, I will take up two themes from the gospel: Jesus' entry on a colt and the spreading of the palms on the road. I aim to explore the gospel's connection to the Old Testament and demonstrate how Jesus fulfilled its prophecies. Which prophecy is fulfilled by Jesus when he enters Jerusalem on a colt? Mark's narrative of the procession into Jerusalem includes the distinctive detail that Jesus sits on a colt. This is in fulfillment of the prophecy in Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9 which says Rejoice greatly daughter of Zion shout daughter Jerusalem see your king comes to you righteous and victorious lowly and riding on a donkey on a colt the foal of a donkey the donkey symbolized peace and gentleness and humility in ancient israel contrasting with horses which were viewed as symbols of war and aggression Therefore this prophecy predicts that Jesus as the promised messiah will enter Jerusalem embodying humility and peace Why does Mark highlight that the colt has never been ridden before Mark emphasizes this fact to illustrate throughout his gospel that Jesus is the master of all and at peace with all including wild animals He observes that this particular colt has never been ridden implying its wild and untamed nature allowing only the one who will train it to sit upon as Jesus enters Jerusalem and rides a colt that has never been ridden before it symbolizes his authority his mastery over all creatures not just humans what do the palm branches signify in the 1st century AD palm branches symbolized royal and triumphant processions in the book of kings second kings chapter 9 verse 13 branches are used as a part of a king's coronation ceremony so as the king would proceed into the city he would ascend to the throne his throne and the branches were meant to show that he is being welcomed as a king the same is true in the book of maccabees chapter 13 verse 51 they used palm branches in a victory procession as a sign of israel's triumph over its enemies what do the palms on palm sunday signify when we combine the dual symbolism of palms representing both royal and triumphant processions it reveals the deeper meaning of the gospel narrative the gestures of laying palms on the roads in jerusalem extend beyond mere welcome or recognition of Jesus as the messiah this symbolize welcoming Jesus as a triumphant king what would typically occur after the victorious king's procession following the procession the king would enter the city and ascend the steps to his throne in the palace there he would sit triumphantly as a king who had returned from battle or achieved triumph over his enemies what took place after jesus the king entered triumphantly into jerusalem jesus entered triumphantly into the city but he did not proceed to a palace or ascend a throne instead he entered the temple and then left the city anticipating his passion and death on good friday the early church fathers interpreted this procession as an introduction to holy week where jesus rather than mounting a throne ascended the cross as a crucified king the cross is the throne on which jesus ascended to gain triumph over sin and death and salvation for human kind and jesus is the king who rules from the cross what message does the gospel hold for us jesus as a triumphant king conquers sin and satan through his passion death and resurrection during the holy week 
let us focus more on personal prayer in our personal prayer let us particularly meditate on the passion narrative from the gospel of john chapters 18 and 19 let's reflect on the excruciating suffering jesus endured because of our sins as he hung on the cross which was his throne this will help us spiritually to prepare for the paschal triduum starting with monday thursday and ending with easter sunday when jesus emerges triumphant over death and satan god bless you